Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez said he would stay in office on Monday. His announcement brought an abrupt close to a five-day drama since he said last week that he was retreating from public duty to decide whether to quit. That was in response to a corruption investigation into his wife. Shouting could be heard on Madrid streets when Sánchez made his televised announcement. He decidido seguir. I've decided to continue to go on if possible even stronger as the Prime Minister of Spain's government. This decision doesn't mean business as usual. Things are going to be different and I can guarantee that. Se lo garantizo. The furor over his future had caused turmoil in Spanish politics, where a fractious parliament has struggled to form coalition government after close elections. A resignation would have forced a new vote that would have been the fourth in five years. The decision to stay generated intense relief among Sanchez followers, but drew fierce mockery from opponents. Spain's opposition leader Alberto Núñez Feijó. About the Prime Minister having no problem making a fool of himself, I have nothing to say. It's up to him. But to drag my country down that road, yes, I would like to make a point. Spain does not have a president worthy of its citizens. A la altura de sus ciudadanos. Residents in Madrid were irritated by the drama, even if they were happy Sanchez stayed. I think it's fine for him to continue. I think right now the country doesn't need new elections or a change of government. None of us were taken by surprise. We all knew that this was just a little stunt he was doing. Analysts say the impact of the five-day drama may be limited because Spain's political landscape is already so polarized. Ignacio Jurado is a political science professor at Madrid's Carlos III University. I don't think this is going to change anything at all. If something this is going to, uh, you know, I think the position has seen here a window of opportunity to attack the government, to basically say that the government is weak, that the prime minister is hesitating. I think that the political climate will get worse in the following weeks. A city court said last week it was looking into the accusations of influence paddling and business corruption against Sanchez's wife. They were brought in as a private complaint by Manos Limpias, or Clean Hands, an anti-corruption activist group. Mi mujer y yo sabemos que esta campaña... Sanchez said he and his wife Bagonia Gomez were braced for further attacks, but that he had decided to continue regardless.